So, I don't know what to talk about, but I'm going to talk about something that I just think about a minute ago. <laughs> and that is... <laughs> and that is... Check that out. Nice view, eh? We create our life. We create our bodies. We, cr we make ourselves fat or slim. Healthy or unhealthy. Sick or thriving. By our thoughts, what we focus on, what we think, what we imagine, what we envision, what we remember, what we do, how we behave, our behavioral habits, our choices, our decisions. It all comes from our thoughts, basically speaking. We create our emotions with our thoughts and our Another way of saying our thoughts is also our attitude and perception. That's all mental activity, everybody. Every single minuscule millisecond, we are creating our thoughts. Now, there's a nice view. So, um, in this video, I want to emphasize the fact that we need to take responsibility for our life. Um, our physical health, we create our bodies, our skin, our hair, and also basically speaking, our happiness, um, everything, everything, completely everything, um, pretty much everything. Our reactions, our responses to challenges is also, we choose that, we create everything basically. Not everything, 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 I don't think really exactly, um, maybe we do, maybe we don't, I don't really go with that philosophy that we create absolutely everything, I feel like something, our higher self creates everything. But as our physical self, our temporary self, I don't think we create everything. So if we have an accident, I don't really prescribe with the idea that we attracted it with the law of attraction. So. <coughs> so I just wanted to have a little joke with those two people. <coughs> so, um, so yeah, that's all I really want to say in this video, everybody. Um, the importance of realizing the power that we hold in our hands and what I'd really like to focus on is the power we have to create our emotions. That's for me, that's even more, that's sort of very exciting and interesting to me, um, depending on how we think and what we focus on and what we talk about. Like we create our relationships. That's another one that's extremely important for me. We create our happiness, our joy, our sadness levels. We create so much of it through what we focus and think about and remember and imagine and envision. And like, if we focus on something, we're, like, putting up a magnifying glass to it, you know, like... So, what we, where energy goes, where attention flows. So, if we keep looking at this bicycle all the time, if we keep thinking about bicycles, we're going to probably go cycling. We're going to... If we keep thinking about our problems in a disempowered victim state, we're going to create absolute misery and depression in our life. If we keep thinking about how bad people were in the past, we're going to create resentment and anger and sadness and depression. If we keep imagining the future being bad and people turning out not nice to us and things being awkward and difficult, we're going to feel bad. So here's, I'm going to flip it. So remember the best things. Hey, remember the best stuff. Remember the nicest things from people. Um, remember the best things that they did and said to you and other people. Remember the sweetest moments with your exes and pe family members, past people. Remember the happiest, heart-touching, beautiful moments. And when it comes to the future, say and think stuff like, yeah, so speak to nice things about people too. So that, that has helped me enormously in my life. So, and then when it comes to the future, um, say stuff like, soften, the, depressurize and de-stress yourself and soften the blow. So, for example, for example, um, say stuff like, I think it's going to be okay. It turned out better than I expected. It turned out better the last time. It was improving. Things can improve. Things can get better. People improve. People change. Things can work out for me. I have my spirit guides and angels on my side and on my team, on everyone's side and team. Pray to them. Give them thanks. No, your health can improve, people can get better, you can heal, you can learn, you can fast, you can eat fruitarian diet or raw food diet. 
you could do all of these empowering things like essential oil baths, beautiful showers, like water therapy, swimming in the ocean, swimming in the sea, in the lake, the river, um, enemas, colonics, herbs, detox powders, all these lovely stuff. Like, get stuff from my shop, higher self herbs. <laughs> I have my own higher self herb shop. Check that out. Higher self herbs like come below. You can walk in nature, be barefoot, just take your clothes off, um, get into your trunks and go into the sea or your swimming bathing suit. Go into your back garden when it's sunny and take off all of your clothes if you can, you know. All these natural healing remedies are at our fingertips. So give a- appreciation and gratitude is an amazing way to focus on, on stuff. So like, that is an amazing way to think because this video is about how to think, focus, remember, imagine, envision and what to talk about. So talk and think about stuff that makes you feel good and other people feel good. Don't bring up the stuff in an awkward way. Be careful of the power of words, everybody. The power of words, they hold such power. Like today, the words came up in my Facebook post about being denied access that's very very, like (laughs) i get it i I really i feel for it i I understand it but this year i've changed i've learned something different i've got it i understood it it sunk in it resonated i was ready now i'm much more of an expert at what i think i don't let things i don't allow things to get to me to drag me down i don't i don't allow an energy of like worry and to fester and build up in me or other people's minds for example if i put a big word you know you're gonna fail (laughs) then everyone's if sign then everyone starts like everyone starts looking at that and then everyone's talking about it (laughs) so I had I wanted to redirect people's attention and like paint the picture it, it improved immensely I believed in the goodness of the people involved in my challenging situation they I know they are good and I believe they will act good and they're great at what they do you know <laughs> my baby mama is a good person I, I I love her as a person as a soul I trust her she's pr- pr- brilliant So everybody, do you get what I'm saying? There's different ways to look at things and we have to think extremely carefully. How and what we think and say is pivotal. The power of our thoughts and sentences and words is deep, tremendous. So, practice this in your own life. Soothe smoothen the blow soften things up even with money health relationships everything relieve the pressure on yourself de-stress yourself with, with your thoughts be gentle and kind and loving to yourself and everybody and then you can make better decisions and improvements actually practically behaviorally hi so so when we get our thoughts right that's when we get our actions much better And it comes from a place of loving acceptance instead of resistance and forcefulness. You know, it comes from a place of love when we get our thoughts right. It comes from a place of ease and grace, which is so important. You know, I want to live my whole life through ease and grace, you know, and love and joy and happiness as much as possible. You can't always necessarily have happiness and joy. Um... But you can have ease, you can have ease, grace and love, in my opinion, much easier, for me at least anyway. But the only times when I don't have the happiness and joy is as much or as high as it can be is when I physically overeat or, or eat the wrong things, especially overeating. Or if I do too much physical activity and I kind of, I go beyond a healthy balance and I'm depleted or tired or overrun in some way, over, too much overextension. So I overextend or overeat and the wrong stuff too much. That's the only time I physically feel a dampener, a downer on my emotions. 
it's hard to get out of that. You can't think yourself out of that because it's very physical. But if you think brilliantly, which I basically do, I have to say, I think excellently, really good, like so good. Then all I need to do to, to get high again is to do the health physical thing optimally. So the core of any health protocol regime, such as veganism, fasting, juicing or raw foodism or detoxing and stuff like that, is resting and enough sleep. If you don't get enough sleep and rest right, um, all everything else that I just mentioned before will be affected. So get the core basics right.